Let's push on, Dargo. side over there. Somewhere over there. Hello? Stilko never learned Hood's real name, either. He did know that she was a wizard in the uh, Imperial Legion, and that she deserted, and that's why she didn't reveal her name. She just hid out in Bruma. Um, wasn't a member of the Thieves' Guild, but knew people in the Thieves' Guild. Kind of kind of had the same role vis-a-vis -vis the Thieves' Guild that, say, Gullamai has in Solitude, where he's not a member, but he works with them, uh, and he does fencing for them. So she was just a woman on her own. Deserter from the Legion. She never explained why she deserted either. Just that she did. horses here if we can, if Dargo's actually with me. Dargo? He catches up, you know? Hi. I hope someday we'll get to know each other better. What? I don't even know who you are. Um, listen, I'm just leaving my horses here, and I wanted to let you know. Sometimes the difference between life and death is a swift steed. Yes. So, I, wow, look at the armor on that thing. I like your armor better, because it I'm imagining it keeps you lighter weight. What the hell? Damn, Dargo. Oh shit, I didn't turn in the bear the bear pelts to Temba. Oh well. We'll be going back to Iverstead eventually, I'm sure. Excuse you. Doesn't even pay attention. I feel like it's been a long time since we've been to Windhelm. An orc follows Could be wrong. to the death. Alright, let's see if we can't just do this thing now. Nisus Corner Club. We gotta alter their books. Uh, nope, that's Sandri. We might stop in there afterwards. Hi. Yeah, what do you want? Just wondering why you're hanging out out here. Damn right there is. What? But nothing a drink or two can't fix. Drinks are inside, man. Did you get kicked out? I guess the courier didn't send you the notice. It isn't just him who hates me. It's everyone in this city. My kind aren't welcome. Aren't you a Dunmer? <laughs> That's not what I meant. I'm a bandit. Ah! I make my living off the backs of others, and people here resent me for it. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. Uh, how can you walk into the city? You're one of men. I think uh, Stilico knows how that works. 
Just wait till Ambaris turns around and slit his throat. You know, you could do that. Well, that's a good idea, yeah. but not really my style. Oh. I may be a bandit and a turncloak, but I'm no coward. That's a coward, huh? Turncloak? I don't, I'm not familiar with that term. That's right. Funny thing is, people treated me better when they thought I was just a bandit. Turn cloak now meaning turn coat? one rung higher than a kinslayer. Ah, turn coat, The absolute yeah. worst mortal kind has to offer. Yep. I've killed uh, people who've done that kind of thing to me. Why'd you kill your chief? Or betray your chief? I guess I don't know that he killed it. Killed them. Why does a bandit do anything? Gold. Yeah. The chief had a big mouth and told me things he probably shouldn't have. Like, for instance... The size of the bounty on his head. <laughs> yeah, I, I got that problem too. Most people that's why I killed him. Those people don't know the half of it. What's the other half of it then? So why are you here if you know that you're not wanted? I mean, I'm I'm in similar straits to you, but I got shit to do. I'm looking for something. Ah. Two somethings, actually. And the inn's always a good place for rumors. At least, it used to be. But it's alright. I've got an idea of where they are already. Yeah? Uh, where exactly are the items you're looking for? Well, that's the problem. They're in the city, and it's hard for someone like me to walk around without being noticed. What I need is to get somebody to do the scouring for me. Someone who doesn't attract so much goddamn attention. <laughs> you're looking at me? What about you? Dude! You look friendly enough. Are you for hire? Are you seeing me? Look at me! Look at me. I'm, I'm in this weird mask, cloak, disguise thing, and I've got a seven-foot-tall orc behind me. But sure, what the hell? Let's let's see what... I, this guy interests me in a crazy way. He's, he's a lot like um, Stilico, except that he has betrayed where Stilico hates betrayers. So I think Stilico is curious, like, what is this guy's deal? I don't think that Stilico would ever feel comfortable trusting him, but he's interested enough to see where this goes. Great. First thing I need to make clear, it's not the people I'm after. It's the items they own. Books, to be precise. Books? All right. Of course, there's a catch. Yeah, what's that? Well, for one, I don't know what the books are. I just know they're books, but that should be enough to go on. Oh my god, dude. The first book I need is owned by a fence. Someone like that likely keeps the book in a safe. Second book is on an elf named Sordrin, grayskin like me. Knowing that, you don't need the titles. Get both books and I'll pay a bundle for both. I'll meet you at the Riften docks when you're done. Okay. We can do that. I, I'm going to be in Riften eventually anyway. Why these books? It's part of a cipher, all right? All right. Which means the books are useless to you without the code, but they're invaluable to me. Yeah, why are you looking for them, though? Like, what, is, what does this all mean, dude? Tell me what it means. I'm a bandit. I don't need a reason. Dude, bandits need a reason. Trust me. Well, we'll see about that. Most adventurers I know just have one question. How much? They don't care who's paying. He doesn't know this, but I'm a bandit who asks this question because I've dealt with people like him before and lost from it. Alright, fine. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. That. Okay. Come on in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the coat. I cold. thought the Grey Quarter would be a haven for my kind. I was wrong. Hmm. Hello, everyone. Hello, fair elves. That look. He said a man waits his entire life to see that look from a beautiful lady. I wish I knew what he was talking about. So I'd know never to do it again. Sorry, what? Who are you talking to? Not at all, stranger. I was just caught in a memory. And when that happens, I have a tendency Pleasure. to speak out loud. That's why the Nords say I'm of questionable mind. Okay. When all they used to question were my morals. 
Your morals? Uh, I was gonna ask her why they question your morals, but okay, who's the man you're referring to? A lover? A stranger? A mistake. Ah. He saw the way I looked at him and thought I was in love. Perhaps I was, but only until the day he left. He, he left, huh? When did he leave? It was the day Ulfric had left for solitude. Not to plead for war, but to make it. Ah, fateful day in then Skyrim's history. Sealed, or so Stelco has join heard. the Stormcloak army and depart for a camp the following morning. We said our goodbyes, and I never gave him a second look. Who the hell was this dude? You are in a relationship with a Nord? Ain't no way a Dunmer would join the Stormcloaks willingly. I was standing at the docks when his ship pulled in. His name was Balrund. He was a noble son. His shoulders were dressed in the finest furs, and a golden amulet hung from his neck. The center set with a stone as blue as a summer day. Take it he was handsome? Very much so. In fact, when I saw him, I dropped my basket of flowers. Oh, -ho. I was so embarrassed when I scrambled to pick them up. All that was left was a single dragon's tongue. I was about to reach for it when a hand plucked it off the ground. Uh, that would be Balrond, I guess. Yes. He placed the flower in my dress and told me, A flower this beautiful belongs in no basket. What, what happened next? Strange feelings swelled within me. Ooh. Anticipation. Anxiety. As if the world had shrunk into a single person. And yet it never felt so vast. I never even noticed it was an amulet of Mara around his neck. Romance! Uh, amulet of Mara, huh? Rich, handsome, uh, apparently charming. I'm surprised he wasn't spoken for. He was. Oh. When someone dons an amulet of Mara, they're usually on their way to propose. In this case, he was promised to one of the Shattershield daughters. Um, what happened after you met him at the docks? It didn't take long for me to discover the amulet of Mara was meant for another. He said it was nothing more than a business arrangement, a wedding made to unite two clans who had long been at odds. That only made it worse. Hmm, what did you do? The only thing I could. I set out to do two things that night. Put down a bottle of ale and put him out of my mind. Hmm. I had all but succeeded when he walked into the corner club. Ah, of all I the corner clubs and all the gin joints in all the world. Kept at it. I told him it would end in tears. He said he would never make me cry. Did you believe him? I did. Stilico is apparently a bit of a romantic. He's love. standing here listening to her. And love makes a mockery of wisdom. We alter our lives, our futures, and the fate of those around us, all to chase that single fraction of a moment when everything is beautiful. She's very poetic, this woman. Um, I take it you don't feel like those moments you spent together were worth living for? No, they're not. Those moments are poison. Just look at me. Still in love with a ghost. Oh, is he dead? The Shit. Fool went and got himself slayed not a week after the war began. I never even got a letter. Hmm. So he was spoken for. Are you not spoken for? <laughs> I don't know why I'm asking this, but sure. Berlin, don't be absurd. Belin is my cousin. Oh. Our ancestors were once members of the great house Hlalu. Can you tell me about the house? What do I care about the house? Seems like there are very few tales of romance in Skyrim. 
Yet you'll find more than your fair share of tales of sorrow, sadness, and melancholy. Yeah. That is something we Dunmer can relate to. I've got it. That is something every foolish, mad, and hopeless romantic can relate to. <laughs> I've got a tale of sorrow weighing heavily on my mind these last couple days. I believe the Nords and Dunmer have a lot of common ground. You must if you had a romance with one. Yes. Skyrim is the an hell? old land, and its people hewn from ice and stone. Some may see the surface and the edges, and mistake it for a lack of passion. Yet in the end, Nord or Dunmer, Altma or Orc, we are all mortals. We laugh, we love, and we cry. Behind the icy veneer, in the privacy of our bedrooms, and in our most intimate of thoughts, we all turn to those emotions that are timeless. She's saying a variation of the, uh, all our gods are different, all our prayers are the same sentiment. Uh... Skyrim and its people are cold but passionate. We rec we've we've seen the cold firsthand. Uh, I'm trying to think if we've seen the passion. I suppose just the Stormcloak movement on its own uh, testifies to that. Yes, the land itself is filled with hidden wonders. For every desolate tundra, there are clear lakes and hidden grottos as lush and vibrant as the Ascadian Isles. Hmm. Any, uh, any interesting news or rumors while I'm here? Candle Hearth Hall may be a cozy and elegant place to have a drink, but the Corner Club has style. Okay. Safe travels. Uh, so interesting NPCs, there's a lot of just talking to somebody and they'll just talk your ear off for a while, and sometimes uh, I don't have much patience for it. <clears throat> but I will say that when when you actually sit and listen to them, it's usually well done. The, the dialogue and the thought behind what it is that they have to say. Alright, where are these books? Oh, <laughs> Dargo's already up here checking shit out. Who's this? Silvar the Steady. Think I can do this and get away with it? He's looking right at us, Dargo. I got long arms. I can reach over there. Hi, who are you? My job? Well... I'm the Watcher of the Wheel, which is exactly what it sounds like. I watch the wheel. The hell's the wheel? What? What's he talking about? There's some very confusing people here today. Good work, everyone. Nice to see elves running the business here. All right. It's, uh, oh god, it's already 5.11. <clears throat> Let's stop in and see Sabri. I think we have a few things we could sell. Everybody in here. All my goods are legit. Of course. Oh, by Azura, I've made a terrible what? mistake. What? Oh, shit. I bought a gold ring. Damn it. Viola Giordano has been missing a ring I've... that looks just like it. I thought I selected the Let's Trade. You're telling me. I didn't mean to initiate that quest. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Sell the mossy wrap, no, I'll keep it. I'll sell you that, though. And that. This song is so pretty. King. So that. Yeah, 
Yeah, sure, so what the hell. Okay. Got anything cool? Sure, I'll take the healing. You never know. Alright, thanks, Audrey. Do come again. I don't think we have to really visit anybody else because we've seen that we don't have anything else to sell. What's our encumbrance like right now? Yeah, we're good. It's almost 100 free points. That's wonderful. Well, it's late in the day, but I think we could get to uh, Dawnstar by nighttime. That's where we want to go next, right? Dawnstar to do the Tikrid thing. I think while we're there, we'll do the Invil Barrow quest. Because it's so close. And uh, we'll see what else, what else occupies our time while we're there. Slightly tired, slightly thirsty. You have a look. Sweet roll, what are you doing up here? Adventures. All right, Don Starbound, Dargo. Let's go. Oh, also, hang on a second. I don't think I ever set up uh, convenient horses for my quick dismount button. Yeah. Oh, I did. It's a semicolon. Okay. One weird frost giant isn't around, that's good. Like an adventurer or a mercenary or something. Oh, you know what? It might make sense to stop by Tumble Arch Pass. Uh, I mean, we're we're gonna pass very close to it. Uh, I don't know if I'm looking forward to killing a giant, but I think we can do it. We killed a dragon. Another thought I just had. Hang on. Suspicious elf. This is something... The suspicious elf is there. Okay, I don't have a reason to stop there. I'll have to come up with one, though. And then my other question is... The vial. Isn't that somewhere nearby, too? Right there. You know what? We should do the file, because as far as we know, that dude's... Ah, nah, but we're not going to be going back to Windhelm anytime soon. I was going to say, as far as, as far as we know, that dude's going to die.
that one, right? Nah. Oh, shit. Is that an ice wraith? Just blast right past it. Charge did some damage to it. Hang on, we gotta go kill this thing. Or help, anyway. What hell is it? That was our kill, dude. Where did it... So, uh, there we go. Hit it with the torch, what the hell? What killed you? Did you what? What is happening in this place? Sorry, that was my dryer, that wasn't your dryer. <laughs> Apologies. What the hell is going on up here? Goblins, I think. No? Goblins, I was right. Damn, what the fuck? Am I not hitting it? Is this thing just tough as hell? I'll show you give it a minute here. Yeah, something I was not hitting it earlier. Crundamore? Yeah. Dargo? What are you doing? Come on, you asshole. I fought for you. Ooh. Staff of incineration. That's all you've got. Goblins look awesome. That's all you've got. That's all he's got, dude. He's dead. Where did these guys come from? Were they just... Were they just hanging out up here, or is there a cave or something? Oh. There's something. We must gather our strength. Who knows what's inside? Treasure, that's what. Get off your scaly rump and let's go. Hush, Salma. We aren't alone. Oh. Uh. Hello. You guys know I'm here, huh? Dude, careful. Hi. Uh, we should be inside loading up on treasure. Worry Scales here thinks we should wait, though. Don't get any ideas, either. We were here first. Okay, what are you expecting to find inside? Gold? Silver? Gems, maybe? Only one way to find out. Mm -hmm. What's going on? I don't care what Beam says. It's high time we get in there and find our fortune. So you don't know what's going on, huh? All right then. What's her deal? Speak with Miss Salma if you wish to speak. 
What is this place called? I don't care what Beam says. It's high time we Iron get in bind. there and find our fortune. Alright, well, we got other things we need to do right now. Hi, Dargo. You can talk to them if you want. We need to get to Tumble Arch, kill a giant. I don't know if we're going to make it to the Pale tonight. We might stay at this inn over here. Okay, so, if we ride around the inn... Is a smith here? I... It's a whole town! I thought it was just an inn, it's a town. That's nice. Okay, yeah, we'll stay here tonight. 